So this is Obama's opportunity. Uh, if he doesn't do it, he will very much be in the same situation as Hoover was, where the recession is deepening, and he's chasing it, and doing too little and too late. You have all the classic signs, retail sales collapsing, layoffs increasing, uh, credit markets being frozen, state and local governments laying off people as a depression, or recession rather, deepens. And of course, all you have to do is write a check for about $100 billion, and no state or local government will have to lay off anybody. No state or local government will have to have education cuts or uh, cuts in police and fire and first responders. The only thing holding this back is the tyranny of the conventional wisdom. And the conventional wisdom is that uh, deficits are a bigger worry than a depression. That's the view. You hear it over and over again from the media. Obama gives a speech and says we, we need to put X billions of dollars uh, into infrastructure, and the shocked reporter says, well, my God, that'll increase the deficit. I mean, I ask you, which is the lesser evil, a bigger deficit for a couple of years or a Great Depression, too? And um, let me leave you with some statistics, God help us. Uh, the, the ratio of debt to GDP, even after uh, George Bush's uh, deficit spree, it's only about 40%. Public debt is 40% of one year's GDP. Uh, at the end of World War II, the public debt was 124% of one year's GDP, and that was on the eve of a great boom. Now, how could that be? How could a nation saddled with that kind of a debt have a 25-year boom? And the answer is to look at what we spent the debt on. We spent the debt on the recapitalization of American industry during the war, the retraining of American workers during the war, the reemployment of American workers during the war, uh, science, technology. We came out of the war as the world's uh, industrial leader, and uh, the wartime production boom turned into a post-war consumer boom. So the question isn't uh, within reason uh, whether we can afford more debt. The question is what we spend the debt on. If we increase the debt to GDP ratio from 40 to maybe 60 percent, and that spares us a, a second Great Depression, uh, it's not exactly rocket science to know uh, which is the lesser evil. So I hope uh, President Obama and his people uh, have read my book. <laughs> I hope, I, 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 I think there are three reasons why he's more likely to succeed and, th than to fail. Uh, and one of them is not my book. Um, one of them is his own character and his own capacity for leadership, and this is a teachable moment. Uh, another uh, is his desire not to fail. But the third thing we have on our side is reality. And it's very quickly going to sink in that uh, the choice is to be bold or to fail. And uh, I think this is an impressive enough man that uh, I think he'll be bold.